So this frame is going to look extremely overexposed, for which I highly apologize in advance. I've tried all sorts of settings, all sorts of things to fix all the brightness going on in the background right now. I could not find a good way to fix it. If anyone has any good tips and tricks on how to fix any of this, I highly, uh, I would highly <laughs> appreciate it if you would leave me some, uh, some of those in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm using a Logitech C910 webcam, I believe it was. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm using some sort of uh, Logitech webcam, the 1080p HD one. Uh, if you have some tips and tricks on how to fix any of this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll happily read it. Uh, so that's your disclaimer of the day. It's a little bit overexposed today, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video because I have a lot of my mind about YouTube content creation, how I've been doing this uh, for 12 years almost, I believe it was. It's been a long time and uh, why you should probably do something similar to this as well. And I'm also, while I'm at it, I'm also going to tell you a little bit of uh, things, uh, some nice tips and tricks that you can bring along with you on your journey on content creation, because let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. So in case this is the first video you've ever seen by me, first of all, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Cohen. I am a Dutch content creator. I make videos about stuff that I find, that I find interesting to discuss on YouTube. Uh, when it, whether it has something to do with animation, video games, or literally anything else. I discuss it all right here where I'm sitting in this very comfy chair of mine. Uh, I'm sitting in front of a webcam. Sometimes I just use a puppet to talk to my audience with uh, or anything else. And I tend to just discuss things in a respectful manner with my audience. And that's what I'm doing right now. But that hasn't always been the case. Uh, as a matter of fact, for the longest time, before I even started doing what I'm doing here on the Phoenix Star YT channel, I was making all of my videos in Dutch, which is my first language, by the way. Uh, and the mo most of the time I was making content specifically gaming related. So I would mostly just make gaming commentaries. They were all absolutely horrendous. They were terrible. Many of them are not even available to watch anymore on YouTube today, and that's probably for the best, because nobody would ever want to watch those videos. But it was all that I was doing for a while, uh, mainly because I was much younger when I was making those videos. I didn't really take YouTube all that seriously at the time. I still don't really take anything that I'm doing here seriously, but more on that later. For one thing, uh, I, most importantly, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. I was mainly just messing around and see what happens. That's literally all that I was doing at the time. And that's probably going to stay true forever for as long as I'm doing this YouTube thing that we're seeing right here. Ever since I started doing this YouTube thing, I've learned an awful lot about content creation. I've learned a lot about film production, about editing, about filming, setting everything up for a proper video, uh, script writing and all of that stuff uh, from just doing stuff the way that I know best. And that is to just literally do the thing. Uh, and that's the first thing that I really want to emphasize throughout this entire video is that if you're going to do this, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You're going to make them very frequently and you're slowly but surely going to learn how to make better videos in the process of you making those mistakes. This is not something that you just, um, uh, where you just pick up a random camera, like uh, the one that I have right here, which I would normally use, but um, it has some hinge problems. Um, the, the point is that it's not a, 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 an activity where you're just picking up a camera like this and create Michael Bay movies in like five seconds. That's not how this works. You will have to put in a lot of extra time and effort to even get something like that accomplished. But it's not something, it's not the first thing that you're ever going to create. It's something that you will have to learn how to create. And um, that's probably one of the big things that I got, uh, that I got out of uh, making videos for as long as I have. I have slowly but slowly, uh, slowly but slowly, wow. I have slowly but surely learned how to make better content by simply making more and more content. Like I said, I've been doing this ever since 2012. So uh, obviously I had a lot of time to learn to make 
better videos in the process. And some might argue with me on this, but I like to think that I have learned quite a lot over the years about video editing, about filming, about uh, doing all of the stuff that you kind of need to know if you're going to get into content creation. Sure, uh, depending on the kind of content that you're going to create on YouTube, you don't necessarily have to do quite as much crazy stuff as some other creators that we've come to know over the years. Some people like Mr. Beast, Phantom Strider, uh, Jacksepticeye, and all of these other people have uh, put in so much energy and so much time into filming and editing and scripting all of their stuff. Jacksepticeye is maybe a little bit of a different story because he just does, uh, he just does uh, live commentaries of games that he plays. But he still has a lot of effort being put into his video editing and a lot of the stuff that he does. But a lot of content creators nowadays are actively writing scripts and filming and doing all kinds of takes. And they do all of this uh, in order to even get one video out. It takes a lot more effort than you might expect at first. There's still this uh, mentality of people where uh, they're kind of uh, where they believe that making YouTube videos is very little more than what I'm just doing right here, sitting in uh, in front of a camera and just rambling uh, about something and taking the raw clip of that uh, video that they just recorded and throwing it onto YouTube. That's obviously not how it works in the slightest. Content creation on YouTube, depending on the genre that you're going to tackle and how you're going to approach it, is not all that uh, far off from actual film production. Obviously, it's on a much smaller scale. Uh, you're with a much smaller team. Some people uh, are still just a one-man show when it comes to um, how many people are actually working on the videos and some people literally just do this like uh, some people uh, are literally just taking the raw footage that they had just recorded and put them on YouTube but they but the vast majority of the time when you're watching someone on YouTube you're going to come across somebody who actually puts in an awful lot of time and effort and passion to get one video done one example of this is obviously the guy who I'm uh, editing video for Phantom Strider who puts an awful lot more effort into one single video than I'm ever able to properly express in this video. Like, I could potentially just show you a lot of stuff that um, uh, that we have and that we use to get one Phantom Strider video done. It does not do it justice whatsoever to what is actually being done in order to uh, even get one video out to the public. It's an absolutely insane amount of effort that it requires to get one Phantom Strider video out. Of course, this is also different depending on the project that we need to uh, get done. But it's still, um, you, we're still going to deal with uh, uh, an awful lot of stuff that we need to deal with. Research, script writing, recording, editing, and everything else that is required to get one video out. But that is just kind of the case with um, uh, any uh, channel that you're going to create. You're going to have to put in some kind of effort into actually producing proper content. Now, obviously, if you're somebody who literally just does this as a fun hobby, like what I'm doing right here, you don't necessarily have to, uh, to go through the extra mile to even put in uh, a single video um, every once in a while. You don't necessarily have to do that. It's something that I like to do. I personally don't make a single cent out of the videos that I produce. Uh, I do have a couple of things that you can donate to, like my stream uh, lab. I, I was about to say stream labs, but now I use stream elements for uh, my uh, for my donations. I have a coffee which you can um, uh, which you can donate to if you so desire, and I even have a merch store, all of which will be left in the description down below. By the way, if you're interested in checking those out, but the actual videos themselves, I don't make a single uh, a single cent off of those, because. I honestly um, uh, just, for one thing, my channel does not meet the requirements necessary to even make money off of my videos in the first place. So that's not going to work, um, no matter how hard I try. Um, but also, I'm not entirely sure if I would ever actually want to make money out of this. Now, here's one uh, mentality that I've always 
gone by whenever I was making content on the on YouTube at all. Ever since I started uh, making videos, and to this very day, I still live by one single philosophy that YouTube should be nothing more and nothing less but a hobby to anyone going into this. You do not want to go into this hobby uh, expecting to make a lot of money out of it. There are some creators who went into this with the idea of making money out of doing YouTube videos. And if that's you, all the power to you. If you really want to go into this making money, uh, then I'd say go ahead. Put all the effort uh, and time into it that you can to make proper content and to make money out of it. But if you're like me and you just want to make content, do not worry about the numbers. Do not worry about channel growth. Do not worry about any of that stuff. Sure, it's great if your uh, channel is going to grow and if you get higher numbers. And if you get closer and closer to the 1,000 subscriber threshold, that's honestly amazing. But don't let that be the uh, key motivation for you to uh, keep going. Just make content because you love making content. And because if you can uh, get some people to enjoy the stuff that you produce, great. You have accomplished something amazing, and that is that people actually enjoy the stuff that you produce. And that's the most important part out of any of this. And of course, there's also your own enjoyment. That's also a very important aspect of doing what you're doing. But most importantly, making content on YouTube is a very creative endeavor. It's an endeavor where you really got to put in some extra creativity and a mindset where it's kind of like, okay, we have uh, this idea. How do I... Take that idea and put it on camera. How am I going to work with this idea? And it's a pretty cool uh, little thing because um, if you manage to get your ideas on camera and if you manage to get it all edited and if you manage to get it all done for YouTube, that is truly an amazing uh, an amazing feeling. Getting uh, Putting those ideas in execution is actually an amazing uh, feeling that I've actually been feeling quite often whenever I'm making content on the Phoenix Star YT channel. Obviously, I don't make a lot of content on the Phoenix Star YT channel. I make content whenever I feel like it and whenever I have the time for it. It's uh, kind of detrimental to my subscriber uh, count, but again, I don't really care about the subscriber count. It's great that my channel is growing. I'm not ungrateful or anything about that, but um, it's not something that I'm going out of my way to keep growing. But one uh, aspect that I do love about this is being able to just take a camera like this, uh, turning it on and uh, record myself doing uh, some sort of crazy stuff. Now you're not going to see me uh, uh, go out and about uh, taking my camera and just vlogging like this, because for one thing, I'm awkward as fuck in, uh, <laughs> in public, but that's a story for another day. Uh, me being an introvert is a completely different story that I would like to say for another time. Uh, the camera is, by the way, completely dead, I just realized. And I'm not sure if that's because the uh, battery is dead or because it's actually broken. Um, I've had this camera for a couple of years and um, uh, the hinge just completely failed on me. It, it does not work anymore. It's insanely floppy. Like, that is not how the hinge is supposed to be. It's supposed to... Uh, usually, with these sorts of hinges, there's uh, a little spring inside of the screen, right here. Um, and uh, that thing completely failed on me. I'm not sure what happened to it, but um, it clearly does not work anymore. So, for all I know, uh, the camera is just completely dead and does not work anymore. Uh, it's also been through a lot. Like, I I I've dropped it a couple of times. Um, it went... I dropped it in the in seawater at one point, so there might be some salt water inside that completely killed it. But uh, I would have to test that out soon. But that's another thing about content creation on YouTube: is equipment is going to die at a certain point. I remember I uh, I had a microphone once. It was not the one that I'm talking in right now. This is my Blue Yeti microphone. But I used to have a Samson G-Track. I'm gonna see if I can uh, take a picture of it and put it somewhere around this area right here. Um, but that microphone uh, used to work incredibly well. And then at some point, there was just this really loud uh, howling noise in the microphone, uh, no matter what I did, no matter how I massaged it. So 
Um, equipment breaking down is also just kind of a thing. It's par for the course. Whenever you're getting into content creation, your equipment is going to break at some point. And uh, this stuff, uh, I don't know if you know anything about film production uh, things, but this stuff, uh, especially things like cameras and things like that, can get extremely expensive very quickly. Now, there are, of course, uh, of course alternatives that you have at your disposal. Uh, and uh, I have been suggested a couple of times to just use my smartphone for uh, for that purpose. And uh, I may get into uh, getting a tripod for this so that I can just prop this up somewhere and um, sit in front of it and just film like that. Because I do actually really like uh, using camcorder footage, even though um, this was honestly never the best camcorder to begin with. It's kind of... It's fine for what it is, but uh, it was never really the greatest thing ever. I mean, for a, for a relatively cheap camcorder, it doesn't really have to be, but, I mean, uh, it's... <laughs> it, it left a little bit to be desired in terms of its quality, but, I mean, it did the job for what it needed to do. But um, these days, uh, this would actually have similar quality to what uh, my phone would be able to produce. Um, and actually... Uh, smartphone cameras, uh, even some of the uh, higher, uh, lower end ones, like this is a phone that I managed to get for like 120 euros or something like that. And uh, its camera is actually surprisingly decent. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll be able to get much footage from this um, to, uh, to show in this video. But uh, if I'm able to, I'll show you some of it uh, right here. Uh, it's obviously not going to be the best footage in the world, but it's going to look uh, relatively decent for what you would probably want to do with it. Um, so, uh, if you have a phone uh, somewhere, if you have a, an old phone, for instance, like, you can also just literally uh, repurpose your old phone if that's what you're into. This is my, uh, my old phone that I used to have. This is actually the one that I made a video on a while back, actually. It's crazy to think about, but um, yeah, you can just repurpose your old phone for something like that. If that's something that you would be into. Um, so uh, that that's definitely something that I would highly suggest you do. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, if that is not an option for you, I'm sure uh, you'll be able to get a relatively cheap uh, camcorder somewhere. But Honestly, I would just highly recommend just use your phone for uh, for a starting point. Or maybe just use a uh, an old webcam that you still have. Maybe you still have an old webcam somewhere. Just use that because you're going to get pretty dang good image quality. Especially when you manage to make it so that it's not overexposed in the background. Which I'm still not sure why that happened. And lastly, one thing that I always really liked about YouTube is the community aspect of it. Like, it's so incredibly um, uh, interesting and amazing to see how much of a community you can really build if you uh, end up getting uh, a few subscribers here and there and if you uh, uh, engage with some of them and even manage uh, to get in contact with them either through the means of a Discord server or something like that. Like, uh, uh, I've seen some incredible communities come together uh, uh, for this one content creator. And it's absolutely amazing to see all of that stuff uh, happen um, over the years. Uh, like, uh, the community aspect of YouTube is one thing that I really love. And uh, if, you, uh, if you're going to do this and you're going to make it big or you get your name out somewhere, uh, maybe you're working for another content creator who you look up to. And maybe you will be able to um, uh, get to know them a little bit better. They become friends. And maybe uh, some of their community can get to your own channel. And you can kind of build your own community like that. There's a lot of stuff in terms of YouTube community that, um, that I absolutely adore. And uh, I think it's also a, a, a great part of... Uh, of doing this. Now, my community is not anything all that large by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot of other content creators that have much bigger communities than I will probably ever have. But it's still amazing, this little community that we have built with the small amount of subscribers that I've gathered over the years. 
and um, me live streaming on here every once in a while so that people can actually engage with me a little more personally. It's a really great way um, uh, to, to do this kind of thing. Live streaming is obviously a topic that I would like to get into uh, another day, but uh, it goes without saying that I also highly suggest you do uh, uh, some live streams every once in a while when you can, because it's a really good way to engage with your audience a little more personally. But more on that in a later date. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough at this point. I've been ran I've been going on for quite some time now, and uh, I think it's about time that we are going to call it quits for the time being. Uh, more videos are on the way. I'm working on a very big one to celebrate Pride Month this year. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the subscribe button right down there. It's, uh, it's beautiful and you can click it and then you will never miss a single video of me. Especially if you ringling the dingling bell. And, uh, of course, there's all of my socials and stuff in the description below as well on my card. So, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.